guys, welcome back to Toy Transformations. Today we have an amazing transformation for you that we're sure you're gonna love. We're going to transform two Elevel dolls into Anna and Elsa, just as they were spotted on the new trailer for Frozen 2. So if you wanna find out how to transform them, come with me. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take some white or dry clay and we're gonna put it all over her legs like this because we're gonna make a cute pair of pants for a doll. Then we're gonna take more air dry clay, but this time we're gonna spread it out from the chest all the way down to the legs as we're gonna make a cape for our doll. She's gonna look so great! And now we're gonna use Tony Brown acrylic paint to paint the cape we just made. We are currently making Anna, guys! She's gonna look amazing! Then we're gonna use a much lighter shade of brown like this peanut brown acrylic paint and we're gonna paint the pants. We just have to paint the pants that aren't covered by the cape. And we're also gonna paint this part of her chest as if it was the shirt she's wearing underneath the cape. Have you already watched the trailer, guys? What do you think about it? I think it was awesome! It's time to start decorating the outfit! First, we're gonna paint with some golden paint dots on the edge of her sleeves like so. And then we're gonna do the same for the edge where the shirt ends. We're also gonna paint a star right in the middle of her chest. We're also gonna give some long sleeves to the shirt, so we're gonna paint the arms of her dull brown. Which was your favorite part of the trailer, guys? Mine definitely was when Elsa was using her powers to cross the ocean. We're gonna grab this aloe oil necklace and we're gonna paint it with golden acrylic paint so we can use it for our doll's outfit. And then we're gonna attach this plastic bead to the middle of the chest, over here, to make the cape look awesome. Now let's start to change her hairstyle. First of all, we're gonna take a chunk of earth dry clay and we're gonna put it on her hair like so. And now we're gonna paint all the hair and clay with this dark amber acrylic paint. This is such a cool color for the hair, right? It surely reminds me of the trees in fall. And now we're gonna attach real hair to her head. That's right, guys! We're gonna give our doll a super cute hair with some hair extensions. We're gonna use clear glue for this. And now we're just missing her bangs. We're gonna put some more clear glue over here and we're gonna attach them the same way we did with the rest of the hair. And now we just have to cut the bangs to make them shorter. Be careful while using the scissors and make sure to ask a grown-up for help. Here we have another strand of the same hair we used for our doll. And now we're gonna braid it to give our doll a beautiful braid. Once we have the braid, we're gonna attach it to her hair with some clear glue like so. Now we're gonna paint her lips with some burgundy red acrylic paint. And with a modeling tool or an ultra thin brush, we're gonna outline her eyes and we're also gonna paint the eyelashes. She's gonna look so pretty! Then we're gonna paint her eyes with aquamarine acrylic paint to change the color of her eyes. Remember that we just need to paint the irises, nothing else. Next, we're gonna apply a coat of clear nail polish to her eyes to make them look shiny. Now we're gonna paint this pair of LOL boots black. If you wanna avoid getting stains on your hands, you can grab them with a pair of eyebrow tweezers. Now we're gonna start making the accessories. So first, we're gonna take a big chunk of her dry clay and we're gonna make a sword with it. Elsa is going to look awesome with her sword! Now we're gonna make some details for the sword with more air dry clay. We're gonna grab a small ball of clay and then we're gonna flatten it out with our fingers. And we're gonna mark down some lines like this ones. Good! Before the clay dries, we're gonna mark down a straight line with a modeling tool like this one. Very good! Right in the middle of the sword. Now we're gonna paint the metallic part of the sword with silver acrylic paint. Make sure not to leave a single white spot. We previously attached the circular detail we made, so now we just have to paint it with brown acrylic paint. This is gonna look so cool! Now we're gonna paint the rest of the handle with Tony Brown acrylic paint. Which is your favorite character from Frozen, guys? Please let me know in the comments below! And now we're gonna draw a star in the handle of the sword with golden acrylic paint like so. 
And that will be it, guys. Are you ready to see the final result? And here we have Anna, guys. She looks so awesome. She looks so fierce with that sword. Like if she was ready to defeat anything, right? Good job! Time to start with Elsa. We're gonna take a big chunk of her dry clay and we're gonna use it to make Elsa's pants. We just have to cover all the legs with it like so. Then we're gonna take more air dry clay and we're gonna put it over Elsa's arms to make her beautiful cape. Elsa's cape is one of my favorite things about her outfit. Time to paint her pants. We're gonna use cornflower blue for this. She's gonna look so cute, guys. I love Elsa's outfit. It's one of my all-time favorites. Then we're also gonna paint the cape with this same color. She's gonna look so great, guys. Now we're gonna use this beautiful piece of white lace. We're gonna fold it in two, and then we're gonna cut it like this. Remember to ask a grown-up for help whenever you're using the scissors. Then we're gonna attach the piece of white lace to the chest to make Elsa's shirt. She's gonna look amazing, guys. Just wait till you see her. Here we have a beautiful blue ribbon, and now we're gonna cut it in the shape of a trapezoid. Ask your grown-up to do this for you, as it can be a little tricky. Now we're gonna attach the ribbon we cut to the waist of our doll to give Elsa a cute belt. I love the fact that Elsa's outfit is almost completely blue. Now we're gonna paint some lines like this on Elsa's dress with an ultra thin brush or a modeling tool so it looks better. We're also gonna use some of this blue tool, but we're gonna cut it like this because we're gonna put it on Elsa's cape. And now we have to attach the tool to Elsa's back with some clear glue. So put the clear glue over this part in the back and then attach the tool to it. Now that we've attached the tool, we're gonna cut it in two. Next, we're gonna attach six plastic diamonds to the jacket. We're gonna put them over here to make them look like buttons. Now we're gonna paint some more dots with silver acrylic paint around the area of the shoulder pads. Elsa's dress is starting to look really great, right? And now we're gonna paint some dots for the end of the pants. But this time we're gonna paint them with royal blue acrylic paint. Then we're gonna paint the snowflake right in the middle of Elsa's belt, as if it was the buckle. And we're also gonna paint some white dots on it as if it was snow. Next, we're gonna paint the skin of our doll with pale rose acrylic paint. We're trying to imitate Elsa's skin tone, which is really pale. Now we're gonna paint the shoes with cornflower blue acrylic paint. They're gonna look so cute. And we're also gonna paint our doll's face with the same paint we used for the rest of her skin. Now we're also gonna change the color of Elsa's hair. We're gonna use white acrylic paint for this. Be careful not to paint her face. And now we're gonna attach real hair to her head. We're gonna do this with clear glue as well. She's gonna look so cute. Elsa's hair is actually one of my favorite features of her. Now we're gonna braid her hair to make Elsa's characteristic long braid. Have you watched Olaf's Frozen Adventure? Olaf's short film? Did you like it, guys? I thought it was awesome. And with a little bit of lava red acrylic paint, we're gonna paint her lips. And with pecan brown acrylic paint, we're gonna paint her eyebrows. Make sure to use a thin brush or a modeling tool not to make them too thick. Now we're gonna use baby blue acrylic paint to change the color of her eyes. Make sure to use a thin brush so it's easier to follow the lines. And for the last touch, we're gonna apply a coat of clear nail polish to her eyes to make them look beautiful. And that will be it, guys! And here we have Elsa, guys! She looks so adorable, right? I love her cape and the fact that she has real hair. Her braid is so cute! I also love her belt because all of the details we made to it. Here we have today's transformations together, guys. They're so awesome, don't you think? On this side, we have Anna with her super cool hair that looks so shiny and her awesome outfit that makes her look so fierce. Just look at that sword. She looks so ready to fight evil. And by her side, we can see her sister, Elsa. 
Her outfit looks so awesome, guys. I think she's my favorite transformation of the day. So, if you like this video, please tell me in the comment box below which was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you enjoyed this transformation, give us a like. We love you so much. Bye!